Late Show, everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest this evening is an Oscar-nominated actress you know from The Help, Zero Dark Thirty, and Molly's Game. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Jessica Chastain. <laughs> Is that nice? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty sad when there were no people in here. <laughs> well, you've been in front of a few people recently. Venice Film Festival. Yeah, but not really in front of people. Well, I mean, you just know. Just the red carpet, I suppose. Yeah, red carpet and then also sitting in the audience. So, right. among everyone. Um, well, the, the premiere was here in New York uh, last night yes. of The Eyes of Tammy Faye. How, how did it go? Did you have a good time? Oh my gosh, I had the best time ever. It was like a hot pink carpet, and there were drag queens, and my favorite actress, Isabelle Huppert, was there. Oh, wow. And Steve Peters, who's um, in our film. Uh, Tammy Faye did an interview with him in 1985. Um, she brought him on a show. He's an open, openly gay minister who has AIDS. And uh, so he was there last night, too. Well, and Jay I, Baker, her son, was I, great. I, I want to get to that in just one moment, but just first, let's kind of remind people who... Tammy Faye was because even the people who may remember Jim and Tammy may not remember or may not even know exactly who this person was. Why did you, you've been trying to make this movie for 10 years. You're yeah. also a producer on this movie. Why'd you want to tell her story? Well, I was on the tour for Zero Dark Thirty and I saw the documentary called The Eyes of Tammy Faye. And, you know, I grew up, um, you know, with SNL and sketch comedies and tabloids, and she was always on the cover of them and mm -hmm. being made fun of because she was a larger-than-life person. She's a, she was a televangelist, and she was very emotional, and she's fodder for comedy. <laughs> Yo, she, and, and she, she was always crying. Always. Jan Hooks would always portray her with, with mascara. mascara going down her face. Absolutely. Um, so she was an easy target, and the documentary actually reevaluates her and you realize actually you know her husband um, was charged and convicted of crimes and she never was and yet she was still vilified by the media so I wanted to go back and celebrate her for the things that she did and said rather than like vilify her for how much makeup she wore mm -hmm. which is kind of what the history was right which is actually more than you even think you remember <laughs> Yes. When you actually go back and look and go, oh, because I, I watched the movie last night and your performance is fantastic. And Thank while you. while you can't really play Tammy Faye, I imagine, without seeming like you're going over the top, it never feels unreal, especially if you go back and look at Tammy Faye and you realize everything that you are doing, what might seem like a, a extreme in the movie, is exactly <laughs> what she what, exactly the way she looked. It's true. I mean, it's a, also it's a scary thing when you play a real person and they're easily Googleable. Like, I mean, Googleable is that a word? Googleable. Googleable. They've got Google Googleable. Googleability. Go yeah, Googleability. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, like a lot of the scenes were t are taken straight from history, so you can like watch the movie and then see it on YouTube. Uh, the reality of it. So that's a lot of pressure. But hopefully, I mean, the good thing is because. I'm pretty big in this film in terms of performance. Um, ho hopefully people, when they actually look at her, they'll go, oh yeah, that's what she was like. She really was, uh, I mean, I think I would have loved her. I think she, she's funny. And, and there's a sort of a caricature we have in our minds of um, TV preachers specifically, and often based on things that are you know, actual touchstones of their behavior. But she had some very interesting, quite loving beliefs. Yeah. Um, and just getting, just getting back to this, oh, yeah. this clip that I want to show in just a moment here, she was very accepting, uh, or more accepting than one would imagine, of the gay community. Yeah, in 1985, I mean, the, the AIDS epidemic was killing, you know, communities of people and destroying families. And uh, she really wrapped her arms around the LGBTQ um, audience right at the time when uh, conservative evangelicals were turning their backs on them. I mean the government wouldn't even talk about AIDS. She brought Steve Peters on her show and not only, she t basically talked to her audience and said, 
if you're, you know, we need to love through anything as moms and dads. So if someone comes out to you, we as Christians love through anything. And that's the way with Jesus. And then she also said Christians are the salt of the earth and need to throw their arms around an AIDS patient and tell them that we love them and that we care. I mean, it was radical in that time when you have someone like Jerry Falwell saying that, um, you know, homosexuality is a cancer that's, you know, um, destroying this country. To have this woman go against that kind of authority is awesome. <laughs> um, we have a clip of that moment right now, Jim. And how sad is that? That we as Christians who are supposed to love everyone are afraid so badly of an AIDS patient that we will not go up to them and put our arm around them and tell them that we care. It's really hard to believe. Oh, I, mean, so I, much. I have. It's really hard. I have interviewed a lot of people, like in Marvel movies, who look less transformed <laughs> in their parts than you do there. I mean, oh. it's, it's. I know that's you, but it's an incredible transformation, yeah. but believable at the same time. How long did that take? Well, the makeup. The longest it took was seven hours one day. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Well, that 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 um, openly gay minister that you're yes. speaking to there, who was HIV positive at the time in 1985, he lived and he's he still lived. alive. And he came to the premiere last night. There he is, you guys. That's the real Steve Peters, right there. Yes. Had you met him before? I had never met him. Um, so last night was very emotional for me. Um, to see him, and he's so beautiful in his rainbow scarf. It was like, it was a very emotional uh, premiere. Did, did he tell you how he felt about Tammy Faye? He loved her. I mean, when you see it you, on YouTube, you can see the interview. But they really, they'd never met because he was in, having chemotherapy and the trip was too big for him. So they spoke through mm -hmm. a, like Zoom, I guess yeah. a modern, uh, old fashioned Zoom. And they just loved each other. You could just feel it just from that one interview. And she got all kinds of heat for having done that. Oh, destroyed. I mean, it, it, later on, she was really exiled from her religious community, um, I, I believe, because of it. But also, I believe, because of that interview, both her and Steve Peters saved lives. I mean, there were a lot of young people struggling um, with their, you know, how they identified, and uh, she was reaching out her arms to help them and love them. We have to take a quick break. Okay. Uh, but don't go away. When we come back, I will ask Jessica about a certain bit of footage from the red carpet in Venice that uh, you won't want to miss.